Welcome to my channel. A viewer has asked me to listen to Dax's Book of Revelation, so that's what we're going to do tonight. But before I do that, I have to thank every single person that comes to my channel. Thank all of you that watch my videos, that like them, that comment on them, that share them. And thank you especially for all the wonderful people that have subscribed to my channel. I continue to be amazed by the number of people that have come here. I don't understand why it's happening, but I'll take it. I'll accept it and I'll thank you for it. So without further ado, let's watch Dax. Where will you spend eternity? I know where I will. These girls are meant to help me sleep alone. I can't sleep. I keep thinking about this. What if with everything that's going on, the world really is coming to an end? Then what? What if it isn't a lie? What if we make it to heaven and don't get inside? What if? what if we get to the gates and see God on the other side and he looks us in our face and says our whole lives we've wasted time? What if we can't go back? What if we can't redo this life and get one second chance? What if our future happiness is memories of our past while we burn forever haunted by the devil's laughs? Why? Why do we push them away? And why do the ones we work to keep never actually stay? Why do we focus on tomorrow and forget about today and smile in everybody's face and try and act like we're okay? Why do we live this way? Why do we hate? Why do we fight? Why do we act like there's time and got more than one life? Why? Answer me. Why? 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 I'm older and looking for truth. I'm holding my faith in my hand, but the pain in this world has been shaking it loose. I used to have so much to gain, now I have so much to lose They say I'm crazy for looking for answers, I say they crazy for knocking on proof Vision is blurred, I'm over concerned I'm looking to God to see if life with him is something I've earned The devil's been watching, he's trying to recruit, he's been waiting at every turn I'm driving this life on the highway to hell, but I won't burn! Fuck! We know the difference, we know what is wrong and we know what is right But Satan is strong, God, and most of your people are losing the fight So what if we fail? What if we can't escape his lies? What if we can't change? What if he still controls our minds? Where do we run? Where do we go? Who do we talk to? We look around and everyone we see is lost to. What if life is just some test that we all do? What if you were busy when we called you? Hmm. Ouch. Where are your parents? Tired. Come on, let's go. I got you, I got you, I got you, I got you, I got you. What if hell's on earth? What if being born is dying and dying's birth? Would that mean life's not God's gift, but the devil's curse? And to live was to be evil because it's words reversed? What if the devil entered a pastor and he led a church? What if we looked for the truth but didn't know where to search? What if the books they said to read have never been your words? What if we chose to follow you but we still had that urge? Will you forgive us for our sins and let us in your world? God, we at the gates. We couldn't see, hear, and touch you, but we had faith. We know we messed up, we human, and we make mistakes. So we just beg and we get in and that you'll have grace. God, what if we didn't mean it? What if the place we grew up forgot to teach us? What if we never even got the chance to go and seek it? Then what? Then what? Dear family, we're in scary times. Nobody has the answers. Just make sure you spread love. Hmm. Well, that's an interesting song. I think a lot of people are troubled by the what-ifs. 
because they don't know what is. But if you know what is, the what ifs no longer trouble you. And what is is God. God is reality. God is the truth. And God's word is the way to salvation. I thought that was interesting, What that line he sang in there where he said, what if a devil got into a pastor? Well, we know that's happened a time or two. <laughs> More than once, that's for sure. But I guess it's, I don't know, I guess it's kind of a, a universal question that a lot of people have. And once you get born again, those questions go away because you know what the truth is and you know you don't have to worry about it anymore. You know, it's interesting. I, I wasn't quite sure what to expect with this. The book of Revelations is one of the books of the Bible that I... Um, I don't really pay a lot of attention to. I'm going to be real honest with you. Um, I find it confusing, and I don't really understand it a great deal. And frankly, I don't really know why God provided that book, because I guess it answers questions for some people, but for me, it's never really seemed like it was all that important. What was important to me was God's love and grace and that he has forgiven me and called me to be his son and that, that's, that's all I need. That's really all I need. I don't need to know the future. I don't need to know what's going to happen, uh, when the world's going to end, what's going to happen after the world ends because I know I'll be with God. So the rest of it is not important to me. Uh, I, I've i tried to read Revelations a number of times and I just, I just find it uninteresting. I don't find it enlightening. I don't really get what the message is, the four horsemen and all that. And, you know, I don't understand it. There are people that purport to understand it, and I've read books by people that purport to understand it, but they don't convince me. And the only thing that convinces me is the parts of the Bible that tell me about God and that tell me about his love for me and the fact that he's forgiven me and that I'm saved. And for me personally, that's enough. Maybe it's not for some other people, but for me personally, it is. That is enough. It's enough to know that God loves me and that I'm born again and that I'm going to heaven. And the rest of it is just time passing. Hmm. Let me know what your thoughts are in the comments. If you have a different opinion or you think you understand what revolution, Revelations is about, Maybe you could talk about that. Or you can email me privately if you want to. But in any case, I thought this was a fascinating song. I I, I, I find Dak really interesting. Dax, I'm sorry. I find Dax really interesting. Um, first of all, his hairdos are kind of wacky. That kind of flat top thing that he does. And, uh, you know, he stops his, his video right in the middle to save a little child. Stops singing and talks to the child. There's just, I don't know of another artist who does that, who, who has that kind of boldness in his performance. He's always been fascinating to me ever since I first learned about him. And he continues to be. And... I'm sure I'll keep following him because he makes good music and he makes thought-provoking music and it's uh, it has Christian themes to it <clears throat> that interest me. I just find it fascinating. And I, I find him fascinating, not just as a singer and not just his lyrics, but also his performance art, what he does in his 
videos the the way he puts things together the the scenes that he creates and the 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 different looks that he he takes and he, he's just really fascinating to me anyway that's my reaction to the video what's yours and if you're my followers if you're if you're subscribed to my channel or you're just watching my videos I want you to know that I pray for you I pray that you will be abundant that you will live a long life and that you'll be healthy and that God will keep you safe from harm and I pray that he'll do the same for every single person that you love and I pray that you'll be anxious for nothing but in all things through prayer and supplication with thanksgiving you will make your request known to God and the peace that passes all understanding will keep your heart and mind in Christ Jesus this is the Vietnam era vet out